The wind is rising. Bolt! From the boat! Hey guys, it's Destiny and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Yukong and showcasing her potential on one of my teams for Memory of Chaos Floor 9. This is just to show off how she synergizes with other teammates, her potential, and so on. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. To begin, I'd like to discuss my Yukong build and why I have her built the way she is and mention key points of her skill kit that matter for success with this character. Yukong's skill lasts for two ally turns, which means whatever characters you want to have the attack buff from her kit must go after Yukong in turn order. Ultimates and follow-up attacks don't count for this though, so you could still use Yukong's skill and then any other character who uses their ultimate in between those two ally turns will still have the buff. As for her ultimate, she gives a massive crit rate and crit damage increase. And ideally, you'd want to use this after Yukong's skill to have Yukong's skill for the attack, crit damage, and now crit rate once you use the ultimate. And also, she can take advantage of this quite well since she can actually take advantage of these buffs herself for her own damage potential. Now for my Yukong build, she has 134 speed to go twice in certain turn orders to be skill point neutral in some cycles. And this also takes advantage of her talents for enhanced basic attacks for the increased toughness breaking. I have a mixture of crit rate and crit damage to have her ultimate do a lot of damage as she gains crit rate and crit damage prior to the ultimate hitting the enemy if she has roaring bowstrings active. I use 4 piece wastelander which is nice if you have another teammate who can imprison or even Yukong herself and they break the enemy. And then she uses her ultimate for the increased crit rate and crit damage from the 4 piece and overall increased damage potential. For most though, this won't be as optimal since it's difficult to use the 4 pieces bonus effect without Welt or Locha on your team, but I commonly use Locha with her so it does work out and Welt would also be a very good partner as well. As a whole, I use speed boost for 134 speed, crit damage body piece for more ultimate damage potential, Imaginary Sphere for increased damage potential, and also Attack Rope for the same reason. I would like to test Energy Regen Rope too, but unfortunately I don't have one for this set, so I'm just using Attack Rope for now. I would also like to test Inert Cell Sado with her just to see the ultimate damage increase, but I also don't have matching pieces for that just yet, so right now I'm just going to use the 4-piece Wastelander and 2-piece Space Set. But now that I've explained my build and my reasonings for it, Let's get straight into the showcase, and if you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure to subscribe and leave a like to see more. Red target ahead. Let's wait and see. One. Repay. You took the bait. Time for a plan. <laughs> Gale force. You chose the wrong enemy. I'm not afraid of you. Hide. Can I have fun this time? Spirit never dies. To the cloud! The wind is rising. Bolt! From the boat! I'll see you off. <laughs> the dead return! Stay back, Clara. This combat needs optim- <laughs> This is double speed. I want to protect everyone too. Oh, Mr. Spark. <laughs> More enemies. Time for a plan. <laughs> Stay the course. Gale force. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Annihilate. <laughs> Bloom. Good as new. Secret of the safe. Can I have fun this time? <laughs> this combat needs optimized. <laughs> this is double speed. To the clock. Stay back, Clara. <laughs> the dead return. <laughs> Stay back, Clara. I want to protect everyone too. Oh, Mr. your Spark. Are you all right? It should come back. I'm going to freak you out. It should come back. 
More enemies. Gale force. The wind is rising. Bolt. From the blue. Let's settle this. Never dies. Gale Force. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Stay back, Clara. Sleep, the dead return. Uh, I come back. Receive divinity. Thanks. Repent. I'll never forget you. Eliminating brother. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> I should come back. Watch this out. 
I hope you enjoyed my Yukong showcase and I intend to showcase more characters on my channel in the future as well. As for my thoughts on Yukong, I think she honestly performed very well and feel like sub DPS Yukong is definitely worth investing into, especially as her buffs are usable by her as well as your allies. So I think she's definitely the best option for a sub DPS Harmony character. So overall, I'm personally loving Yukong and would definitely suggest someone to build her as we do all get a copy of Yukong for free in 1.2. Also, let me know any characters you'd be interested in me building and showcasing and I'll try my best to show them all. Lastly, for the question of the day, what's your favorite season? I personally love the fall season as I get to wear scarves pretty often and I also love fall clothing. I hope all of you have a nice one like always. Peace.